Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, then welcome. I am SP and I make automotive related videos. So, maybe consider subscribing. Now, let's get to the video. Types of transmissions used in automobiles. This is a simple explanation of types of transmission that exists. If you would like to see an in-depth video on each transmissions and its working, let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on that in the future. First, let's start with a simple explanation of what is a transmission. A transmission is a mechanical device which is used to transfer the power from the engine to the differential of the driving wheels. You might be asking, why do you need a transmission? Well, internal combustion engines have a very specific power band between specific RPM ranges. So the transmission is designed to keep the engine in its power band while still giving the ability to the driver to vary the speed of the vehicle. So now to the types. Well, let's start with the most common type, manual transmission. Well, as the name suggests, the driver should manually change the gears using the clutch. There are three pedals in the car accelerator brake and clutch when the driver wants to change gear they will press the clutch pedal which disengages the transmission from the engine now they can shift the gear then when they release the clutch pedal the clutch engages the engine and transmission again so what are the pros of this transmission it is simple to manufacture it is lightweight it is fuel efficient it is reliable and most important of them all it is fun to drive so what are the cons it is difficult to learn on to drive manual transmission and wrong usage might result in a damage to the transmission and clutch. Second one in the list is automatic transmission. The automatic transmission refers to torque converter. Torque converter is basically a fluid coupling where the gears in the transmission are connected to engine through torque converter which basically acts as a clutch but instead of two separate units torque converter is a single unit in simple terms it basically has a impeller which is connected to the flywheel and a turbine which is connected to the input shaft of the transmission and there is a transmission fluid in them which when the impeller rotates the fluid rotates the turbine this is how the power is transmitted from engine to the gearbox again this is just a explanation in layman's term so the pros it is smooth it can handle high torque it is really reliable so what are the cons it is usually heavier shifting time might be slow it is not as fuel efficient due to the losses in transmission fluid third one is cvt which stands for continuously variable transmission this is the simplest form of transmission. Unlike other transmissions, the CVT does not have gears. Instead, it has pulleys and belt through which the power is transmitted. CVT provides a smooth increase in power, but manufacturers usually limit it to have certain steps, which usually means there are certain specific steps in which the CVT operates instead of operating over a wide band to give the experience of gear shifts pro it is by far the smoothest transmission it is lightweight it is extremely efficient even more than manual transmissions what are the cons well it cannot handle high torque it is not fun to drive fourth type of transmission is dct dual clutch transmission it is also called as dsg which stands for direct shift gearbox in simple terms think of it as a two manual transmissions combined together it has two clutches as the name suggests. One clutch set is connected to the odd gears that is first, third and fifth and the second clutch set is connected to even gears such as second, fourth and sixth. In this transmission when you are in a gear say second gear then the next gear is pre-selected and it is already engaged. So when you have to shift up the clutch set connected to the second gear or even gear releases and the clutch set connected to the third gear or odd gear engages. This takes place so quick. That is why DCT transmissions are smooth yet they provide quick shifts. Pros of this transmission are it is smooth, it provides faster shifts, it is lighter than normal automatic transmissions. Cons it is not as reliable as regular automatic transmissions and it costs more to manufacture. Fifth type of transmission is AMT or automated manual transmission. It is also called as AGS 
auto gear shift transmission this is a simple transmission it is basically a manual transmission where the clutch and gear shifts are controlled electronically by an ecu module pros it is simple it is easier to manufacture and it is as fuel efficient as normal manual transmission and cons it is not smooth sixth type of transmission is sequential manual transmission this type of transmission usually has straight cut gears instead of helical gears like other transmissions and it has a dog engagement this type of transmissions is usually used in race cars but this is the type of transmission that is used in motorcycles as well in this type of transmissions you can only shift through gears gradually cars with these type of transmissions have three pedals as well like a manual transmission accelerator brake and clutch but unlike regular manual transmissions in this transmission you had to only use the clutch to move from dead stop after which you can shift through the gears without using clutch this transmission has a distinctive clunk during each gear shifts due to the dog engagement pros of this transmission are it is incredibly fast it can handle huge power it is incredibly lightweight as well and cons of this transmission are it has a really really noisy operations nvh levels are so high and hence can't be used in normal passenger cars these are some of the basic types of transmissions used in automobiles so again as i said earlier if you guys like to see an in-depth explanation of each transmissions please let me know in the comments below so that's it guys for this video i hope it was useful so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video until then yes be here over and out